Hello. So hopefully we are live on Facebook again uh, for another episode of The Man in the Grey Fedora with me, Mikey Campling. And I can't tell because I don't really get a different version. Last time I tried it, the, the video quality was really weird and blocky. Um, but we'll see how it goes. And we will persevere and keep going. It only seems to work in Chrome. I don't know why that is. Okay. One of the things I'm going to have a quick go at doing rather than just wibbling on about nothing, is to give people um, a quick response to emails. Uh, because people email me, and I am very, very bad at correspondence. Uh, it's, it's not just you folks, it's everybody in the world I'm bad at corresponding with. Um, it's a terrible failing and very rude and discourteous. But anyway, I'm sorry. However, perhaps we can make up for it. I'll, I'll email uh, people. Uh, to let them know there's a video and I'll put this up on my site on YouTube and everywhere. So, and uh, zip back. I'm not going to give out people's personal details. Don't worry. I'll just say a first name and say hi to you sort of thing. So you can get a, a response to your email that way, if you don't mind. Um, thought it might be more, more personal than an email, which can seem a bit sort of um, a bit impersonal at times. Okay. So, um, Sandra, or I don't know if it's pronounced Sandra or Sandra, because people have different things, uh, ways of pronouncing it, that. Uh, thank you so much for everything you've done. I've got several messages from you, so it's trebly terrible. I haven't responded earlier. Um, thank you ever so much for all your, um, support. You've, um, you've sent me a, a typo you spotted. You've posted up a review for the prison quest which is very generous of you um so thank you very much really nice review i'm glad you enjoyed it and you also said that you liked the story of the month because i have free story of the month club for those of you who don't know where people get um short pieces of fiction delivered as as ebooks so thank you very much sandra for all those things very very kind of you really really appreciated it um all of them just whizzing through a little bit. So Julie, thank you very much. You emailed to show me that you not only reviewed uh, the prison quest, but you purchased a copy. So it comes up as a verified view and they are giving it five stars and saying it was such a great read. So thank you very much. Um, so they're both lovely emails to receive kind of thing that I do read emails as soon as they come in and I'm always really pleased to get them, but you know, it is, you've got a phone, you've got tablets, you've got laptops and you kind of, you sort of lose track after a while of what you've read where and what you've replied to. And I do try and keep on top of it, but I, uh, I get in a pickle. So, um, my head too much in the clouds and in the books I'm working on, but, um, thank you very much, Julia. It's, uh, you're another person who's, you know, email every so often with wonderfully supportive messages and, and, and other things. So thank you. It, it's really appreciated. So, um, Sandy just uh, emailed to say thanks for the Starter Library and you're an avid reader apparently, Sandy, so that's great. Me too. So I hope you find something in there you enjoy. I do put a sort of collection in there so that I hope people, um, you know, they may not like everything, but I'm hoping that something they'll think, okay, that was, I enjoyed that. It was a nice free read. So um, that would be great. Uh, Linda sent me a, a GIF of somebody <laughs> giving somebody a high five. Um, so thank you very much, Linda, for that. I, appreciate that kind of thing as well anything is is nice um and i just sort of sort of compiled two emails together there so um yeah i, I think that's i'll probably have to deal with that on separate checks not sure about claiming his his uh, starter library by the sound so i might I, it looks like i've already replied to him and he hasn't replied to me so if you're watching jack let me know and tell me did you manage to get your starter library i do sort of have a link in every newsletter i send out there's um a thing down there that says grab your you know your free uh books and it takes you to a book funnel link and those of you who know i i use book funnel to deliver those just because it's a service i pay for because they support you and they make it easy for you to get your books so hopefully it works smoothly for most people and much easier than the sort of plugging your Kindle into something, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of device you read on, Book Funnel will help you out. You just contact them if you have any trouble and they take you through it. They're really, really nice. Um, Terry, I hope I did get back to you on sort of, because I'm so behind, but I think I did. Uh, you were, you won the, the 
price draw, which I must do another one every now and then. I do a, a sort of a you know a random price draw in the on my newsletter. Sometimes it's like a bit of a just for fun, a bit of a survey. Choose like an option, and it records the clicks, so I can just pick a winner at random. And so I hope you got your book. Uh, if not, uh, I'll do get back to me, and I will make sure you do get it. But uh, you want a book. Um, ba -da -bum -bum. Nancy, um, I hope um, you've got everything as well because you are um, kind of support me on Patreon for a while there. It's, it has changed now completely what I'm doing on Patreon. So it's, it didn't quite work out what I was doing. Uh, originally, a work in progress going up there chapters because I finished it too quickly and it didn't really make sense to do it in that format. So now all the stories that I'm writing uh, the blog posts and so on each month at the end of the month they'll get bundled together into a nice ebook a bit like a magazine format ebook so you get some some fiction and some nice funny blog posts and things and they'll get put into an ebook and sent out to patreon subscribers so um thank you for for going along and, and supporting me that it is appreciated it's uh, you know i don't have a huge number of patreon subscribers but i'm hopefully that increase as i'm trying to just put out more and more stuff for people uh, and and keep on top of it. Um, and not sure if you pronounce that Diane or Diane. I'm not sure how you want to say it. Diane, I would guess. Um, just saying she's looking forward to the mystery that's forthcoming. And that's that's the at the moment called Fre Freshly Roast Mystery, which is kind of a working title, but I might go with it because I kind of like it. And it's kind of a coffee shop theme to it as well. So um, sort of a historical type mystery as well. So that's that's coming along. Uh, and so I do hope you enjoy it. Um, so thank you for letting me know you're looking forward to it. And uh, I'm hoping it all works out. It doesn't look like I've actually got any live viewers at the moment. Do comment if anybody does appear. Just pop in there to make sure you can hear me and see me and everything. Because I don't know otherwise. Okay. Um, Andrea, thank you very much for just emailing to say that you uh, you like the snippet and you're looking forward to the rest of it. That was going back to the Serana identity, so that's been out a while. So that tells you how behind I am. So apologies for that, but uh, it's always nice. I, you know, if if you if anybody wants to email and say thank you, it's, it's always much appreciated. Lots of people don't, but every now and then somebody does, and so oh, that's, that's really nice. You know, it cheers me up, makes my day. Um, so it's uh, sorry I'm slow in getting back to you but uh, thank you um so which is similar to the next one so thank you james for um for for emailing and you say that you actually remember the tribe as well which is my street team and it's it's that's the place where if there are advanced reading opportunities review copies or beta reading that sort of thing that's where they go so so if people are signed up to that list, rather than pester everybody with it all the time, it's kind of, hopefully if you sign up for the tribe, it means you don't mind me emailing you with these extra type opportunities. Because, you know, if you, if there were going to be a bother for you, I'd rather not pester people. But, you know, if you kind of like being involved in things, then that group is for you. So we call it the tribe. Um, so thank you very much, James. I hope you're enjoying that experience. It's not a hugely sort of, active thing at the moment it's just just as and when things come up because uh, there's so much going on the rest with the blog and everything that um that's where a lot of stuff is happening now um okay so uh peter also emailed so thank you peter for emailing um mentioning it's also reading cloud atlas and uh yeah it's uh i finished it now it's um interesting interesting book interesting read uh and thank you very much uh peter for you mentioned you bought you bought a, a, some of my books that's really really appreciated obviously that's that's what makes the difference i, I can't really keep going on this as a as a hobby because the amount of time it takes the amount of time i put into it anyway it's you know i don't do it as a hobbyist thing so the only way that i can uh, i can I can carry on with that is when people do occasionally buy books. So um, if you have, thank you very much. It's really appreciated. So thanks, Peter. Um, another one from Sandra, actually, who, who was 
Yeah, uh, I should mention, I'm sorry to mention it again, but, well, I'm not sorry, thank you. <laughs> no apologies, uh, because very kindly um, has sent me some typos that have slipped through things, as well as wonderful reviews, which I've really appreciated for some Darkening Stone books, um, which have been out a while, but, you know, uh, people are still picking up and reading them. It was my very first novel was Trespass, um, the very first full-length thing I wrote, and so it's been an adventure for me. It took me a heck of a long time doing it, odd moments. I was looking after young children as well at the time. So I was really a, a full-time parent who was writing in the, the brief moments when the kids were occupied and then later on when they were at school and in between various other jobs and things that I've had. So, um, yeah, it's nice when, when people are still enjoying something that you did a while ago and you think, yeah, I'm very, very sort of got special place in my heart because it's, it was my first one it took me so long and because obviously the first go at it wasn't right and had to be, had to be redone um more than once i think so <laughs> you think you think it's sort of an uphill struggle to write a novel but when you realize you've got to then sit down and rewrite it to, and uh, you know really lay into it and make it a lot better you know but you know it, this is this is what makes you stronger um rewriting rewriting makes you better so Todd, I think I've had a few emails from you as well, though, um, though it's sometimes get muddled up if people have got the same first name. Uh, um, but yeah, a really nice email from you because you mentioned I often put pictures of Dartmoor because I live on the edge of Dartmoor and um, it's kind of what I do really. It's, you know, I, I don't have lots of exciting city based things to take pictures of, but I do have lots of beautiful countryside. So we you know, walk our dogs and we go for a walk. I don't dogs, just one dog. We walk our dog and we go for nice walks and take pictures of lovely countryside and things. So I'm glad you like that. Uh, and you'd, you'd been up there in, um, been to Exeter as well, which I, I'm setting my new mystery set in Exeter. Um, <laughs> Morton Hampstead, he says he's, the town name is longer than the main thoroughfare, which, yeah, pretty much it's, it's a small Dartmoor town. And, um, yeah, quite a nice little, funny little place, but uh, quite a nice little place. And uh, lots of lovely places to visit on Dartmoor. So, yeah. And uh, that's, that's interesting. So it's nice to get, you know, I, I do love to get these bits of background. It's nice to get to know the readers as well. Um, my readers, it's just really nice to hear from you and what, you, what you're up to. It's... Uh, Sometimes people think, oh, I won't bother people, I won't email them, but actually it's just really nice. It's just really nice to hear from people. It's just a shame I'm so bad at <laughs> responding in writing anyway. So, um, so this is a, I think, I'm not sure if this is the same Victoria that I've, I'll have to check, sorry. Um, again, because you sort of email addresses are different, they don't always have people's names in, you sort of get muddled up who's who. But thank you, Victoria. I think I might have just emailed you earlier today, but um, and saying you purchased a Brent Bolster box. So thank you very much. Really, really appreciated. That would have been the Saran identity. And you've sent me some lovely pictures of flowers in bloom. Uh, amazing. Wow. Beautiful. I did look at them when I got them. And yeah, I am, I'm happy to get, accept pictures of things as well. That's, that's always really nice. So thank you for sending me those. Some lovely spring images. Uh, a bit different in Florida to uh, to Dartmoor, but um, we just had, uh, went for, a, I'll post some pictures up on my blog or something. I don't know if it really captures it, but the bluebells are out in a wood near us. And we, we walked there just yesterday with the sun shining on them and the scent of them was incredible. It's like uh, really beautiful, amazing, almost quite unreal. Um. So thank you very much, Victoria, for all your support and messages and, and especially for buying books is really what, uh, it's really nice. It's just nice actually that people think, okay, you know, I'll, I'll part with a few, uh, few dollars or whatever to buy a book as well. It just kind of, uh, you know, gives me a bit of a warm glow that somebody thinks, yeah, this, this, the work I'm putting in is, is worth a bit of, bit of something. So that's really nice. Um, it does make a difference. And, um, yeah, Julie, thank you very much. You posted a review up for the Serrano Identity and you were surprised you're the first. You're actually getting people to review is is a bit like getting blood out of a stone. So, yep, um, uh, many of my books don't have huge numbers of reviews. And um, one way to sort of get more reviewers is to sort of put a book out very, very cheap or free for a while. And that is kind of OK. But because people are a bit indiscriminate when they get free books, they don't always 
to use terribly well and then they they kind of write a, a, a sniffy review that it wasn't what they expected and that's probably because they just went oh that's free click uh which is fair enough you know we've all done it i do it i'll, I'll download free books or books that are on special offer um i usually kind of bear that in mind <laughs> <laughs> I kind of think, well, that was spray or it's cheap. I'm not going to go and do a sniffy review about it. Uh, but, you know, it's, that's the system. It's there. It's, we work with it. Um, it's, I always think it's uh, it's nice if people have um, have ploughed through something and they, they feel they want to leave a review. Um, I always think it's a bit odd if people say, well, I haven't really read it and I just didn't like it, but they still feel they want to do a review. Well, it's hard for, to judge, really, if you haven't read a book to the end isn't it perhaps you would have got into it um but you know they people have got to do what they got to do and um it's quite a, a funny it was a would see a comedian Stuart lee some time ago and I, I saw a clip of the performance that we saw it was actually up on youtube but although he did the same show somewhere else and it was filmed and they put a clip up and uh, he was talking about he'd been to a doctor who, who museum which was clearly advertised as a doctor who who museum and somebody had posted a review on TripAdvisor saying like one star there's there's not much of interest here to people who are not Doctor Who fans and you think well yep <laughs> okay so um sometimes reviews are a bit like that for, for free books you kind of people think oh yeah I'll have that now. but so yeah so if you have read something and and enjoyed it you know please please don't hold back uh do go and share those um those those reviews and if you have constructive um things to say about it one way or another you know do 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 just be honest and post them up because they do help and um sometimes if even if you think uh something isn't quite what you expected it's actually quite handy to put that up because then other people kind of stop them from making the same mistake sort of thing I do try and get the covers and the descriptions to to get across what kind of book it is. Um, but I think like some people, I changed the cover on the, the first print bolster ones because I think not everybody realised that they weren't um, sort of noir type mysteries and that they were comedies and that they were science fiction. Um, I mean, I had a, they had a, a funny alien on the front and <laughs> I thought they were quite humorous. But anyway, they're different now. So... Um, hopefully that works and so yeah julie thank you very much and thank you for saying that stories are fun to read in capital letters that's great glad you really like them and and um thank you ever so much for your reviews um okay that's not that's kind of a business one that's kind of a sorry um and thank you barbara who says that um when she gets my newsletter it puts her in a good mood well that's really nice and you're on story of the month club as well which is is really nice um thank you i'm, I'm glad if you like those and if you're getting something out the uh, stories of the month they are fairly quick reads uh they're all kind of different some are darker some are lighter so but they're very short so if you don't like something just wait for the next one to come along um it's totally free anyway i think there are 14 stories if you so if you've been in more than 14 months, I'm afraid they've probably run out, but um, I can look at adding some more later, but um, I'm not sure that the system will cope with me adding them later to the people already in the, you know, have already passed the time. But anyway, I think 14 stories isn't bad, too bad to get. Um, some of them, they're so short that I put two in. You get 14 eBooks basically with either one or two stories in, depending on the length. Some are very, very short, like flash fiction, really. But, you know, it's just an extra thing that I hope people will enjoy. Um, thanks for email, Linda. You say that Lottie is a beauty. That's our, our black Labrador. Yeah, she's nearly nine years old. She's going to be nine years old in June. But um, we make sure we don't overfeed her and give her lots of exercise. And uh, she's she's fit, really. And a little bit set in her ways now. She's a bit older. But, uh, yeah, she is a beauty. Um, very, very, a very gentle dog. Very nice. Um, so, um, and hi, Morag, thank you for emailing. You say that you, um, you visited Yorkshire, uh, which is where I'm from, and visited Pickering, which is where I uh, sort of lived from 
I was born in Scarborough and then I grew up in Pickering. Um, my mum still lives there, actually. Uh, so we go occasionally. So it's a really beautiful place to live. Um, yeah, and you mentioned Sutton Bank, which is a, a very steep hill. Quite an impressive thing to drive up or down. <laughs> Make sure you, you know, watch where you, where you put your feet on the pedals when you're driving up and down there. So, um, so hi, Bonnie. Uh, thank you for your email mentioning that um, you enjoyed reading about Pickering Castle. Yeah, I um, last time I visited, I took a picture from the tower of the castle, which is um, which is nice. Um, and you said so you enjoyed the, the newsletter and that you grew up reading sci-fi way back. But yeah. Um, yeah, me too, you know, going back quite a way. And um, it, is, it is a great thing to be into. And it's kind of a resurgence now. I think um, back when I was a teenager, people would sort of look down a little bit at those of us uh, who were into sci-fi. But since CGI came along and really sort of Star Wars onwards, you know, and, and now it's very much mainstream, isn't it? So it's great. So, uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying uh, things that you're, you're getting from the newsletters and stuff, Bonnie. So thanks for email letting me know. Um, Gary, you've uh, emailed with a forwarding a link to the review, your review of the Serrano identity. So thank you very much. Really appreciate that. As I keep mentioning that these reviews are important. Um, they do sort of help people to find the book. So thank you very much. And I do really, really appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, it's, end of the day it's what i'm here to do is to entertain you all so um i think humor is quite uh, it's quite a shift for me from some of the more serious things i've done but uh, i've always liked making people laugh and entertaining them so um glad you've enjoyed it um i'm not sure how you pronounce this one so it says rares rare is I'm not sure but thank you very much for emailing me and uh, and just sort of saying hi appreciate it so thank you for saying that you you like my writing so um hang in there always nice to hear from you and similarly tim so hi tim uh thanks for emailing me um i've been working in a remote place in alaska wow um yeah very cool i should imagine so it must be an amazing place to visit at, uh, up to be up to the arctic circle and um yeah I'd love to see that and uh, I sometimes work um, with the on the I've got some of my books in expanding universe anthologies and Craig Martell the author um, who puts them together uh, lives and works up in Alaska so uh, kind of here see photos and things that he shares from Alaska so it seems like an intriguing place so very interesting so thanks Tim for getting in touch um, I'm just trying to check what that is from ah todd yeah um was thanks for emailing me todd i i think we've kind of ironed out your question you're asking me i mentioned about um if you've got amazon prime that you can often borrow uh, a lot of my books for free i didn't really i sort of almost misspoke because it, it sounds like i'm talking about prime reading a prime reading is one of the amazon has loads of schemes but it's i can't ask to be in that they have to ask me I, I believe they approach authors and say would you like to be in prime reading and you can sort of say yes or no uh, and i'm not really sure how it works because i've never been asked um however if you have a kindle i always tick the box that say allow lending um for the book so if you are a kindle owner of any of the kindle devices the old or new you can uh, when you go to the store through your kindle if you look for the option to say borrow this book and you're allowed one at a time so you have to return a book that you finished with and then you can borrow a book one a month i believe um, but it's just a way of um getting a bit more value out of your prime membership and they are quite nice devices i've got one of the uh, fires uh kindle fire uh, which i can use for making notes on and things and i've got one of the traditional uh you know one that's quite old actually but still works um the e-ink type ones because i quite like they're kind of easy on the eyes um so kareen um i have a relative called kareen i've got a canadian branch of the family i've got kareen who lives in canada so 
anyway so corinne thanks for emailing um me as well it sounds like you've been very very busy and um nice to hear from you anyway uh, I, I know people don't always have much time to catch up with emails i i subscribe to all kinds of things i know it's difficult but if people want to unsubscribe the links are always there to unsubscribe but um you know i'm not offended if uh, people don't don't read them i sometimes give people a nudge because um you can sort of send out saying do you still want to stay subscribed i don't do it very often so i'd hate to pester people and apparently it's quite hard to track if somebody's actually read the email because it depends where they read it but um Okay, so um, just just nice to say hi to Karine anyway. Um, so I think you emailed me before. Um, I think that's, yes, yeah, so uh, another similar kind of email from Kathy, um, who's just saying, yes, she does read the email. So thank you, Kathy. <laughs> So this is why I don't do it very often because then people um, people are not sure that they're going to whether they're still on the list or not. So um, okay, racing through. Um, there's one I, I'm who who so there's a, a lady who styles herself the lady. So. Um, yeah, you mentioned that you're not sure if you've got the full starter library, but if on any of your newsletters, there is a button, I think it's usually blue, down near the bottom, and it says get your, you know, make something about get your free books. And if you go through to there, it's a book funnel page, and it has them all, and you can just grab them all from that page. Um, I'm nearly racing through to the end here. Uh, yeah, you see, this is a different Victor. So I've got more than one. Oh, no, it's the same Victoria. I think anyway. Hello again, Victoria. Just mentioning that you liked Raw Gabe's blog post and you thought it was hilarious. Brilliant. I hope people like them. I have I have fun getting Raw Gabe to uh sit himself down in the specially reinforced chair because his his bones are quite dense as an alien. You know, I get him to type up his his blogs and uh, he quite enjoys it. Yeah, he is a bit pompous, but uh but he's he's quite enjoying writing his blog posts. I think eventually there'll be a book um down the line. I think Raw Gabe might like to put a book together. Could be the first alien bestseller, couldn't he? And Milton, hi Milton, thanks for emailing. You've got a couple of emails um, basically saying hi and sort of saying nice to get to know me and nice to get to know you as well. Um, and he's saying you like the picture of the Dartmoor tree, it reminds you of Wuthering Heights. Yeah, I see exactly where you're going with that. It's very much like that kind of thing. I don't think I've read it actually. It's not the sort of thing I've read much. And I, must you know i do like to catch up a lot of classics but i uh, really must get read at least some of the, some of the bronte works um perhaps ruling heights would be a good one um that one doesn't do sorry um dave just sent me a message to say uh enjoys what i'm doing and getting into the idea of grabbing free books and things for people yep um hope you enjoy them you know they're, they're no expectation people will go on to buy stuff, but they're a sample. So if you do uh, enjoy something, uh, it's always nice. You can always like leave reviews or perhaps you'll, you'll follow on to read other books in a series or something. So thank you very much, Dave. I'm not sure how long I'm allowed to stream live on Facebook. Uh, so uh, Rene Orini uh, says... Um, She's enjoy I asked people to nominate a classic, and a lot of people are used to, and I don't seem to get many replies these days. So thank you for taking the time to reply. And you enjoyed a book called The Glob, apparently, which I've not heard of. Um, so I'll have to look into that. I think I better tie it up there. So thank you very much, uh, all those people. And I will send you a link or to the email so you can watch this and see what the response is. So thank you very much. And until next time, goodbye. Oh, and if I didn't get to get to you, then I will in future.